Okay, welcome back again. So, uh, moreover, your the charging current may cause overheating of inters, especially in long cables, right? So, this charging current also your will be responsible for your what you call heating of that intercept right overheating. So, in view of this practical difficulties neither of this method of grading is used in practice. So, in reality these methods are not used whenever necessary oil field and gas field cables are used. So, these are the things for cable now further thing will come later now come uh, another example example 2 it is given that find the most economical conductor diameter for single core cable to be used on 33 kb three phase system if the rms value of maximum stress is not to exceed 35 kb per centimeter <coughs> also find the radial thickness of insulation this is the problem right so you have to find out that most economical conduct conductor diameter for single core cables right so, and operating voltage is 33 kb it is line to line and three phase and maximum stress is 35 kilo volt per centimeter and you have to find out also the radial thickness of insulation. So, it will be how how you will solve it. So, look at this one only uh, your uh, this side do not see this is another problem no need to see to this side you please see this one the black one black ink for most economical condition we know R is equal to 2.718 capital R is equal to 2.718 small r this is equation 12 right actually it is E right. So, that means, L n r upon r is equal to 1 actually it is I am writing here actually capital R is equal to E into small r right. So, that is why it is L n capital R plus small r is equal to 1. Now, using equation 9 equation 9 is your V upon that is the maximum electric stress it is given 35 kV by kV per centimeter. So, formula no need to write here I mean it is E max is equal to actually E max is equal to it is V that is line to neutral voltage R L n capital R by small r and this E max actually given 35 kV per centimeter and line to line voltage is given V is equal to line to neutral that is why it is line to line voltage is 33 kV. Uh, so, line to phase is 33 by root 3 kb. So, this is your V right. Therefore, 33 upon root 3 then R into L n R upon R is equal to 35. Now, your if you if you solve this R your L n R upon R actually 1 this is 1 because when R is equal to it is actually E R I told you I have written E is equal to 2.718 say. So, L n R upon R is 1. So, from which you will get R is equal to 0 0.544 centimeter. Therefore, capital R is equal to 2.718 R. So, R is 0 0.544. So, multiply this one it will be capital R will be equal to 1.479 centimeter. Therefore, thickness of the insulation will be this is the capital R uh, right uh, that 1.479 and is the diameter of the conductor. So, insulation thickness is 1.479 minus 0.5 544. So, 0.935 centimeter I mean it is like this this is the conductor right is it is radius right this is r and this is your outer radius this is capital R. So, this is the thickness of the insulation this r is 0 0.544 and this capital R is your 1.479. So, thickness is capital R minus small r so, that is that is why it is 1.479 minus 0 0.544. So, 0 0.935 centimeter right this is example to understandable right easy one. Example 3 in this case you find the maximum working voltage of a single core cable having two insulating materials A and B I mean A is one insulating material and B is another insulating materials conductor radius is given 0 0.5 centimeter inside radius is 2.5 centimeter maximum potential gradient of insulation a i am just written a of insulation a 60 kilo volt per centimeter and for cable b sorry insulation b rather insulation b 50 kilo volt per centimeter for insulating material a it is given epsilon a is equal to 4 and for insulating material b 
epsilon b permittivity that is 2.5 these are the parameter given you have to find out maximum working voltage. Now, that r your is given conductor radius 0.5 centimeter and inside radius is 2.5 that is capital R is equal to 2.5 centimeter right and you have two insulating materials A and B. Therefore, let the first dielectric layer A that is for insulating material A be up to radius R 1 and between radii R 1 and R is the layer of dielectric B that means, it is something like this just hold on. that means, you have this is your conductor, it may not be symmetrical, but this is your insulating material A right. And this is insulating material B. So, this radius is given suppose if it is R right and this is your uh, this is your r 1 right and this is your what you call capital R. So, this is insulating material A, this is insulating material B, his permittivity is epsilon A, his permittivity is epsilon B and this is the conductor radius R, this is the diagram. So, that means, so let the first dielectric layer A be up to radius R 1. So, it is A up to radius R 1 and that and uh, your what you call and between radii R 1 and R. So, R 1 and capital R this is your the layer of dielectric B. Therefore, electric intensity you can write Q upon 2 phi epsilon 0 is common everywhere. So, Q upon epsilon 0 into epsilon A into R is equal to 60 because it is given maximal potential gradient for insulin A is 60 kilo volt per centimeter square. Therefore, Q upon 2 pi epsilon 0 epsilon A R right is equal to your uh, your 60 and second one that that means q upon 2 pi epsilon 0 right uh, because all parameters are given right r is given uh, directly you can substitute and you could calculate you q because epsilon a is given r is also known if you put it you will get q upon 2 pi epsilon 0 is equal to 120 this will get it i am not showing it here but you can put and you can check similarly for the second one q upon 2 pi epsilon 0 epsilon b r 1 is equal to 50 because this is 50 kilo volt per centimeter right and is epsilon b is equal to 2.5 you put epsilon b 2.5 right and your what you call and q by 2 pi epsilon 0 is 120 here you substitute q by 2 pi 0 is equal to uh, 2 q by 2 pi epsilon 0 is equal to 120 you substitute here then epsilon b is equal to 2.5 that you substitute here and then only r 1 will be left is equal to 50 solve for r 1 you will get r 1 is equal to 0.96 centimeter right. This is a simple thing that is why I did not write the step, but I am telling you how to do it. This value substitute here this this is 120 actually it will become 120 upon epsilon b epsilon b is 2.5. So, it will be basically your uh, what you call that uh, 120 upon 2.5. So, roughly it will be 80 upon r 1 right. So, that way uh, then then you calculate your uh, what you call that uh, r 1 right it is, it is given is equal, it, it is given is equal this one is equal to 50 right. So, this way your uh, you can get r 1 is equal to 0.96 centimeter. So, similarly your therefore, voltage V is equal to so we have seen that previously for uh, general formula. So, V will be q upon 2 pi epsilon 0 epsilon a ln r 1 upon r plus q upon 2 pi epsilon 0 epsilon b ln capital r y r 1 right. So, all these values are known we have got all these value 120 by 4 ln then this is 0 0.96 upon 0 0.5 because r 1 we have got 0 0.96 right r 1 we have got 0 0.96 centimeter right. So, then then this one your what you call uh, plus 
q q by 2 pi epsilon 0 120 divided by 2.5 because epsilon be 2.5 here also q upon 2 pi epsilon 0 120 epsilon a 4 then ln 2.5 upon 0.96. So, v is coming 65.51 kV right this is the voltage. Now, a small question to again you v is is it a line to line voltage or it is a line to neutral voltage this is a question to you when you will read this you see whether it is a line to line or line to your neutral that is phase voltage or line voltage this is a question to you right. Now, example 4. So, a single core cable for 66 kV whenever nothing will be mentioned this is 66 will be this voltage will always will be line to line right. Three phase system has a conductor of 2 centimeter diameter and sheath of inside diameter is 5.3 centimeter. It is required to have two intersheets so the stress varies between the same maximum and minimum values in three layers of dielectrics. So, find the positions of intersheet, maximum and minimum stress, and voltages of the intersheet. Also, find the maximum and minimum stress if the intersheet are not used I mean one what will the voltage distribution with intersheet and another thing is if voltage or what you call if intersheet is not there what will be the your maximum stress right and what is the stress with intersheet. Now, this is the problem this is the problem. Now, referring to figure 7 peak value of per phase voltage look uh, this is first forget about root 2 first 66 by root 3 is the your whatever will come line to your uh, neutral that is phase RMS voltage then multiply by this root 2 it will be peak voltage right. That is why V is equal to 66 upon root 3 into root 2 that is 53.8 kV. Now, given that R is equal to smaller diameter 2 centimeter so radius 1 centimeter and capital R is given 2.65 centimeter. Since maximum and minimum stresses are the same right all that means all are same that means this condition holds this we have seen. Therefore, r small r 1 upon r divide is equal to r 2 upon r 1 is equal to capital r upon r 2 is equal to alpha. Now, then therefore, capital r upon small r is equal to alpha q why because r 1 upon r is equal to alpha r 2 upon r 1 is also alpha r upon r 2 is also alpha multiply all r 1 upon r into r 2 upon r 1 into r upon r is equal to alpha q right that means, r 2 r 2 will be cancelled r 1 r 1 will be cancelled then capital left then what will be left r capital r upon small r this one and this one will be left out. So, capital r upon small r is equal to alpha q therefore, capital r upon small r is equal to alpha q that means, alpha q is equal to 2.65 upon 1 hence alpha you will get 1 point the ratio 1.384. So, this alpha is equal to 1.384. So, radio of intersheet r now r 1 is equal to from this formula r 1 is equal to alpha r. So, alpha is 1.384 r is 1. So, 1.384 into 1 is equal to 1.384 centimeter. Similarly, r 2 is equal to alpha r 1 r 2 is equal to here alpha r 1 therefore, alpha is equal to 1.384 r 1 is also 1.384 it will be 1.915 centimeter right. In the calculations if you find any error or any mistake right calculation error anything uh, please uh, your what you call uh, please let me uh, let me know this right. So, therefore, from equation 25 this equation V minus V 1 upon R ln alpha is equal to V 1 minus V 2 divided by R 1 ln alpha is equal to your V upon R 2 ln alpha. So, V minus V 1 R is 1 1 into ln alpha we got 1.384. So, ln 1.384 is equal to V 1 minus V 2 that your R 1 is 1.384 ln 1.384 is equal to V 2 upon R 2 is 1.915 we have got ln 1.384 right. Now, these equations are given. So, solve this is three equation actually this one is equal to this one one equation this one is equal to this one another equation and this one is equal to this one another equation. So, from this from these three equations and three unknown if you solve it you will get B, uh, this thing uh, I mean uh, v, v is already given because V actually it is known V is given 
v is actually 53.8 kb just two equations. So, substitute v and you just solve for v 1 and v 2 from any two equations right. The substitute here v is equal to 53.8 then you solve for v 1 and v 2. So, you will get v 1 is equal to 41.3 kb this is peak value because this one we have taken peak value because it has been asked right. Similarly, v 2 is equal to 23.94 kb peak value you have to be little bit cautious about this read the problem carefully and accordingly you have to do. Therefore, E max will be V minus V 1 upon R ln alpha. So, it will be V is 53.8 and V 1 is the 41.3 because it is the it is near the surface of the conductor. So, it will be 53.8 minus 41.3 divided by R is 1 ln 1.384. So, it is coming 38.46 your kilo volt per centimeter. Similarly, E mean will be when R is equal to R 1. So, it will be V minus V 1 upon R 1 in alpha. So, 53.8 minus your 41.3 divided by R 1 is 1.384 ln 1.384 that will be your 27.79 kilo volt per centimeter right. That means, the maximum trace. So, we got E max and E mean. So, maximum trace uh, without uh, this is your when interseat is used 38.46 and 27.79 this is max this is mean when interseat is not used maximum trace is at the surface of the conductor right. That means, it will be 53.8 V is given divided by R ln capital R upon R you substitute all the values you will get 55.2 kb per centimeter. So, with, without interseat max is very high here compared to this one. Similarly, minimum stress will be at the surface when R is equal to your x is equal to capital R. So, it is 53.8 capital R upon ln R of all the data are given. So, if you substitute you will get 20.83 kilo volt per centimeter whereas, here it is 27.79 kilo volt centimeter. So, there is little bit uh, although not but uniform distribution not possible, but for this e this e max e mean is be better here right. So, this is your what you call that example 4. Now, example 5 actually so many different type of examples are giving that uh, sometimes I feel that all the theories whatever we uh, make it, it should be supported by good uh, examples. So, example 5 a single core cable has a conductor radius r and inside sheet radius capital R the operating voltage is V. It is provided with an interseat at radius R 1 such that maximum and minimum electric stresses in the two portions of dielectric are the same right. Then, then A find radius R 1 and voltage V 1 of the interseat. Then B find the ratio of maximum electric stress with and without interseat. C if R is equal to 1 centimeter capital R is equal to 3 centimeter, V is equal to 60 kV in bracket it is given RMS value, find the value of R 1, V 1 and the ratio of maximum electric stress with and without interset. This is the problem right. So, how will how one can do this? Same philosophy we will use there it is using I think two die interset right, so, provided with an one interset and interset of radius R 1 right. So, question is that solution will be something like this for the same maximum and minimum value of electric traces in the two layers of dielectric with the same maximum and minimum then same condition will use R 1 upon R is equal to R upon R 1 is equal to alpha. Therefore, capital R upon small r is equal to alpha square because R 1 upon R is alpha right and R upon R 1 alpha you multiply then you will get R 1 R 1 will cancel capital R by R since alpha square. Therefore, alpha is equal to capital R of a smaller to the power half that is under root right. So, radius of interseat R 1 is equal to R alpha. Now, we know same formula we will use V minus V 1 upon R ln alpha here only one interseat is there that is why is equal to V 1 upon R 1 ln alpha right. Therefore, V minus V 1 upon R is equal to V 1 upon R 1 because ln alpha ln alpha ln alpha both side will be cancelled right. Therefore, 
v minus v 1 upon r is equal to v 1 upon r 1. Therefore, v minus v 1 is equal to right v minus v 1 is equal to v 1 and this r it is going r upon r 1, but v 1 we are eating divided by r 1 upon r and r 1 upon r is r 1 upon r is alpha. So, we are making it terms of v 1 upon alpha right. So, actually it is like this just uh, for your this thing it is like this that your uh, v minus v 1 then uh, uh, from this equation from this equation is equal to your r by r 1 into v that one you can write v upon r 1 by r that one you can write v upon alpha right. So, that is why you are writing sorry v 1 it is v 1. So, it is v 1 upon alpha that is why you are writing this one right. Therefore, therefore, v 1 is equal to your just hold on therefore, v 1 v minus v 1 is equal to v 1 upon alpha from this two only v minus v 1 is equal to v 1 upon alpha from that you can write v 1 is equal to v into alpha upon alpha plus alpha 1 right. This you can first condition you have to derive. So, this is alpha v into alpha upon alpha your alpha plus 1. So, this is in terms of alpha. Now, second one is that your when inter sheath is used, when inter sheath is used, maximum electric stress is v 1 upon r 1 ln alpha is equal to your v, your v 1 is equal to you we are this is your maximum electric stress actually v 1 upon r 1 ln alpha. Therefore, we have got v 1 is equal to v alpha upon alpha plus 1. So, this v 1 you substitute here that is v into alpha upon alpha plus 1 then r ln alpha and we know that r 1 is equal to r alpha is equal to we can get v upon your what you call r in bracket it is alpha plus 1 then ln, ln alpha you simplify r 1 is use this condition r 1 is equal to r alpha r and then you will find alpha alpha will be cancelled and it will be v upon r into alpha plus 1 ln alpha. Now, when inter sheath is not used maximum electric stress will be at the surface of the conductor that is v upon r r is the radius of the conductor ln capital r upon small r right, but we have seen r upon r is equal to alpha square r upon r is alpha square. So, here you substitute r upon r is equal to alpha square therefore, it will be v upon then uh, this 2 will come out v upon 2 r ln alpha right. Therefore, ratio will be maximum electric stress with inter sheath and maximum electric stress without inter sheath. So, maximum electric stress with inter sheath is the, this one v upon r alpha plus 1 ln alpha I mean this one and without without uh, inter your uh, when inter sheath is not used without inter sheath it is v upon 2 r ln alpha. So, divide it. So, if you divide mean means your your what you call uh, v will uh, go to the denominator and it will come to the numerator right. So, it will be 2 r ln alpha upon v v v will be cancelled ln alpha ln alpha will be cancelled. So, finally, r r will be cancelled finally, it will be 2 upon 1 plus alpha this is the ratio right. Now, last part c it is given I hope you have understood this. Now, if c is if c is given in c r is given capital R is 3 centimeter and small r is 1 centimeter right. Therefore, alpha square is equal to capital R for small r is equal to 3 by 1 therefore, alpha is equal to 1.732. Therefore, r 1 is equal to r alpha this relationship we know from here only this condition always known r 1 upon r is equal to r upon r 1 is equal to alpha therefore, r 1 upon r is equal to alpha. So, that means, uh, r 1 is equal to alpha r alpha is 1.732 into r is 1. So, 1.732 centimeter that is r 1 right and v your v 1 is equal to v 1 just hold on v 1 is equal to your v into alpha upon 1 plus alpha. So, v is 60 is given right uh, if it is given RMS value find out in RMS if it is given peak value find out in peak value right so, uh, your 60 into 
alpha is 1.732 divided by 1 plus 1.732 so it is 38.04 kV. Therefore, ratio is equal to we have uh, seen earlier ratio is equal to 2 upon 1 plus alpha. So, 2 upon 1 plus 1.732 is equal to, to whatever it comes is equal to 0 0.732. So, this is the answer right. So, next one is this another example we will take right. So, example example 6 right. In this case a 33 kb 3 phase underground feeder 3.4 kilometer long uses 3 single core cable. Each cable has a conductor diameter 2.5 centimeter and the radial thickness of insulation is 0 0.6 centimeter. The relative permittivity of dielectric is given 3.1 find A capacitance of the cable per phase B charging current per phase then C to uh, the your to your charging cave here right it is no need to write 2 it is charging cave here right you have to find out charging current then kilowatt kilowatt then D dielectric loss per phase if the power factor of unloaded cable is 0 0.03 right. So, that is uh, this thing and E maximum stress in the cable. So, these 5 things you have to determine. So, how we will do this? All the parameters or data whatever is given. Now, question is that R is your diameter of the conductor is given 2.5 centimeter. So, R is 1.25 centimeter. So, capital R will be thickness this thing is your insulation is there right your uh, thickness of insulation is 0 0.6 centimeter. So, radius plus the thickness of insulation will be capital R. So, R is equal to smaller plus insulation thickness. So, smaller is 1.25 centimeter and thickness of insulation is 0 0.6. So, 1.25 plus 0 0.6 so that is 1.85 centimeter and relative permittivity is given 3.1. Now, from equation 7 that is C is equal to rewriting equation 2 pi epsilon zero epsilon r ln capital R by molar the capacitance. This same capacitance chapter for transmission system also we have seen right. So, but 2 pi epsilon epsilon 0 is 8.854 into, into 10 to the power minus 12 farad per meter we know that epsilon r is 3.1 capital R is 1.85 small r is 1.25 therefore, C actually is equal to 40 Sorry, 439.7 into 10 to the power minus 12 farad per meter, but length of the cable is 3.4 kilometer. So, 3.4 into 1000, so this is meter, right. Therefore, C will be this much of farad, right. So, 439.7 into 10 to the power minus 12 into 3.4 into 1000 because 3.4 kilometer length, so multiply by 1000, it will be meter. Therefore, C will be 1.495 if you simplify it will be micro farad per phase I have written as in micro farad right. So, whatever it is then uh, charging current is omega c into v. So, it is at 50 hertz. So, omega is 2 pi f then c is 1.495 into 10 to the power minus 5 that we have computed here and your uh, your what you call that line to line voltage is 33. So, line to neutral voltage 33 by root 3. So, and this is in terms of volt. So, that is why kV that is why it is means volt. So, into 1000 that is 10 to the power 3. So, this actually become 8.95 ampere. So, charging current is 8.95 ampere right. Now, this total charging kVR for 3 phases. So, as 3 phases are there. So, this is 3 is multiplied. Then we have taken line to neutral voltage phase voltage. So, 33 by root 3 per phase we are getting multiplied by 3 because this char charging current also given this capacitor is per microfarad per phase. So, charging current also 8.95 ampere. So, 33 by root 3 this is in volt because 33 kV into 1000 that is 10 to the power 3 by root 3 into 8.95. So, it comes it comes about 511.5 kilo bar that is the total charging your what you call charging bar quite high right uh, not low 511 kilo bar means it is 0 0.5 mega bar right. Now, in the in the part b it is given cos phi is equal to 0 0.03. 
that means phi will become 88.28 degree. Therefore, delta is equal to 90 degree minus phi. So, delta will be 90 minus 88.28 because 88 by 2 by so 1.72 degree. So, loss angle delta is uh, 1.72 degree. Now, dielectric loss per phase in equation from equation 13 only we are writing omega c v square sin delta right that is 2 pi into 50 into 1.495 into 10 to the power minus 6 that is the capacitance value we got microfarad per phase right 2 pi this into this uh, this key, the, it is kilo volts we have made volt it is v square. So, 33000 by root 3 whole square into sin of 1.72 degree it comes actually your 5114.6 watt is equal to 5.114 kilowatt right. So, this is your um, what you call the dielectric loss. Now, last part E, E actually is given that your E max is equal to V upon R ln capital R upon small r, this is equation 9. So, V it is 33 upon root 3 line to neutral voltage that is 1.25 that is R ln 1.85 capital R is 1.85 data given divided by 1.2 it comes around 38.88 kV per centimeter this is RMS value this is RMS value right. So, E max will be 38 kilo volt. So, these are the numericals right we have, I have considered uh, for this thing only thing is that if any calculation uh, anything is wrong or anything then you please uh, let me know then I can rectify myself. Uh, th uh, thank you, we will be back again.